Hallelujah. Quick word. If you are feeling anxious, if you're feeling fearful, but you're like, I trust God. I trust God. And I'm working on my trust with God, my faith with God, and I'm choosing to trust him. But yet you find that you are just anxious. Maybe you're expecting something or you're nervous or you just announce something and you're waiting to hear feedback. And every time your email goes off or your phone goes off, you, your heart starts to beat fast. That's anxiety. Or you are fearful. You don't want to check it, but you're like, this is ridiculous because I'm trusting in God. Well, the heart is deceitful among all things. And that is in the word of God. And it says that only God knows the heart of man. Do you know that you could pray and ask the Holy Spirit to search your heart and to remove any, the root of anxiety, the root of fear, the root of anything that's not of God, that's in your heart, because it's from the heart that all of these things are produced, these feelings. Remember the scripture says, protect your heart for out of it pours the issues of life. So I will pray really quickly. And for those of you who want to touch and agree with this, the word in Matthew 18, 19 says that if two or more agree on something, so it shall be established. So if you'd like to touch and agree, no problem. That's That would be wonderful so that you can feel more confident. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I come to you right now as I pray for your people. Father, I pray for all of us and I ask that your spirit will search our hearts and remove anything that you did not put there. Anything that comes from the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, any anxiety, any fear, any double-mindedness, I ask that you remove the root of it from our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, purify our hearts with your purifying fire in Jesus name. And I pray in the places that those roots occupy that has now been uprooted from within us. I pray father that you put within us the things of you, love, power, a soundness of mind. Father, reassure our heart. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, remake our heart in a way so that it not only pleases you, but serves us the way you have destined it to. In the mighty name of Jesus, I agree. Father, I pray and touch and agree with those who would agree on this prayer that this be done in their lives. I pray, Father, that a peace that surpasses all understanding will encompass around them. I pray that you help keep their minds focused on you so that they could be kept in perfect peace, as your word says in Isaiah. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. So be it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Keep going. Keep expecting God to do what he says he would because he will do it. This is just a matter of you standing strong in his word, maintaining your faith and any arrows the enemy tries to throw at you, you are have your full armor on according to Ephesians chapter six, right? You have on your full armor, your shield is blocking those fiery darts. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Condemn every tongue that rides in judgment against you. Keep yourself outfitted with the armor of God, covered with the blood of Jesus and all cons all things that concerned you and constantly pray for a hedge of protection around you and your family. All right.